Hey everyone, it's Rachel. Thank you so much for watching and welcome back to my Soma Blind playthrough. We're up to episode 17 and I've been playing a lot. It's still Sunday for me. Um, this is going to be video number four that I'm working on. <laughs> so I have definitely been kind of going on a Soma marathon. I love it so far and we are still in sight on our con. Let's load her up. <clears throat> Simon has found a power suit with a dead body inside. Now he must adapt it so that Catherine can transfer his mind into it and they can continue the journey into the abyss. Three parts are needed. Structure gel, a cortex trip from a robot in a power pack. Alrighty, so um, I searched the lower levels so far and I didn't find anything, but I did do this override puzzle. We're looking for a structure gel, a battery pack, and a quirk text. So let's go upstairs. I'm pretty sure we didn't go all the way up and explore. There might be a baddie somewhere on these levels. Um, laboratory. Is anything open now? Like. This is still... <gasps> oh my freaking god. Yeah, how do we get up there? That's the level we need to be on. We need a stairwell. This this leads to the diet. Oh, that's the storage. No, I think we're going the wrong way. This is all red. Maybe we have to go that way. Oh, wait. Is this now a new... How do we get up there? Here's the stairwell. Um... Oh jeez, that doesn't seem to help us. We have to stop it. Oh my god. Removing lockdown. Oh! Shit, maybe I never did that the first time downstairs. Oh my god. <laughs> oh crap. Oh fuck. These all these rooms are now happy rooms. Oh, and maybe I didn't explore the downstairs all the way. I thought I did, but maybe I didn't. I removed a lockdown with there's something that wants to eat me now. Let's go down here and double check because there were rooms that were still red down here. That guy looks like he was trying to get his shoes out of the locker. Oh no wait, those were the shoes in the locker. Wait, what? I don't know. We definitely can't go in here. This lower level, see these red rooms. That's what I was concerned about. Um, this room we can't get in there, but maybe we can get over here. In this room. Oh no, we can't, see there's no power. And I didn't notice anything in these other rooms that I might have missed. Um, something about Alpha and their messages. I hope I didn't miss anything. Let's just do a double check. Mr. Buddha. Can't open that. What is this? A pencil sharpener maybe? in this thing? No. Alright, we're gonna go back upstairs. Oh my god, I'm freaking out. Let's hurry. Hydroponics. 
We've definitely not been in here. Oh god. It looks like it's algae. Anything in hydroponics that we need? What's that? Hey, Andrea. Oh. Yeah? I was talking to Cameron about protein solubization. Do you think we could break the aggregate and structure gel without flattening the configuration? Jesus. That was a mouthful. You've been listening to Cameron, that's for sure. What do you want, Raleigh? <laughs> Can you blame me for trying to figure this out? I've been having the dreams too, you know. I don't know what to believe. Oh, I know. Everything from the sudden signal amplification in black boxes to having a comatose Dr. Ross locked up in the glass jar. We've all been going a bit nuts. Tell me about it. It feels like my head's about to explode. Hypothetically speaking, could we stop the WoW from mutating? It doesn't work like that. Even if there was a site alpha? Hypothetically speaking, I guess we could try... Rally, are you recording this? Sorry. I just... So... They feel like their heads are gonna explode. I wonder if that's why they don't, all don't have their heads. Because they literally exploded. <laughs> Oh no. Some freaky shit going on here. Uh oh, webcam. Do you have a battery in you? I need, I'm looking for a structure gel, a battery, and a cortex. Check. Mr. Buddha. Anything in hydroponics? There's water. And that. <laughs> I guess nothing that we need in there. Containment. Oh, that's where they put the doctor she mentioned that was comatose. Main entrance. Uh oh, I think we do have to go up there. That looks like a way upstairs, but I want to look over here first. Can we get into this class? <laughs> oh my god, it's so freaky. God, can we get in this room? Clean room. Oh my freaking god. Foreign contaminants. No foreign contaminants, please. Am I good? Am I clean? I'm clean. What? Biosafety cabinets. Oh no! Another head exploded! They locked themselves in there. I can't get in there. Their heads are definitely exploding. Maybe it's their cortex chips. Just, I don't know. Oh, that's better. <gasps> Did something make a noise? Um, they're pokey, they're prodding these things. Uh oh, it's getting bigger. It started out off in a petri dish at two seconds. And then it turned into that <laughs> in three and a half. Oh no. Check previous results. Less than ideal. Okay. Oh, is that a cat picture? Oh no, that's <laughs> not a cat. They're putting it on the rat brain. We're gonna read that in a second. First, let's look around a little more. Oh wait, this is structure gel. We need this. Never seen something of that speed. That's what we need. I don't want to pick it up yet. Let's look in here. Oh no, that's where they kept the animals probably. 
a, la a motherboard, a laser. Oh no, there's the rat with the you. All right, let's read this computer. Uh oh, it said listen to me. This dude's trying to communicate. Connectivity, Lisa Cameron. The structure gel has been charged and actually keeps going for a while, even when removed from a power source. If applied to circuits, it seems to help out with connectivity. Function. It seems like it's not only connectivity, but even functionality. The gel can make simple machinery work and act more fit efficiently. However, the modifications that the WoW has made to the gel are full of extra information that doesn't necessarily make sense. When applied to something... <laughs> When applied to something more complicated, it causes the gel to act as a cancer upon the host, eventually ruining it. We could use the gel to our advantage, but it needs to be uncalibrated to get rid of the bad code. Cancer is bad code, I guess. Um, pathology. Apply gel to dead mouse. The gel caused the mouse to appear alive. Oh, I don't like that word, appear alive. Because remember, was it last episode or the episode before that? Simon asked Catherine if they're really alive. Like, they appear to be alive. But are they really alive? It was put into the same habitat as a living mouse. The reanimated mouse was apathetic. <laughs> it's like a zombie mouse. While the living one seemed stressed. <laughs> you would be too if you had a zombie mouse in your cage with you. After 15 minutes... We have to stop it. Yes, thank you. After 15 minutes, the reanimated mouse attacked and killed the living mouse. Half an hour later, the reanimated mouse stopped moving. The corpse was solid as the gel had hardened within it. Progress. Reanimated another mouse with structure gel. This time, it was done with uncalibrated gel as produced by apes. The results were impressive. The thing appears catatonic, but it's more of a sleepwalker. To avoid the thing hardening as before... Electromagnet oh, electromag mag bleh, magnets are used to cause a destroy the wow. Yes, I get it. He wants me to destroy the wow. Are used to cause a low electrical current within the animal. This has also provided us the ability to somewhat control it. Yeah, you're not good at controlling it. Chemical analysis. The structure gel remains unchanged on a fundamental level. It's still the same cross-link gel with aligned graphene in a poly unsaturated matrix that was installed throughout pathos 2 a few years ago the problem is not the gel but its controller the wow the gel has not taken away any new properties the wow simply uses it in ways that we would never even have dreamed of and study finally the results of this study. Overwhelming evidence concludes that all deformed creatures, the fish, the sharks, and even the helpers, were manipulated by the WoW via structure gel. They have in some manner been exposed to charged gel and in turn stricken by cancerous growths that affect their whole being. It's difficult to ask why when talking about an AI, but it all started shortly after the comet killed the surface. I can't for sure say if it's bad code or a carefully programmed mercy killing, but it looks like it's not going to make things easier for us to survive. A mercy killing? Is it a mercy killing? I don't think so. Alright. Now let's just check out this thing. We've got... Yeah, this is the first cell. Oh, we can, like, do some science here. We could do some crazy shit to that rat over in cell 3. Dispense gel. We can reanimate it. Is it gonna start busting? It's gonna, it's gonna start doing shit, people. came Aww. back to life. It's something like it. It's moving it around. That's you, Simon. You're as creepy as that rat. That's mother freaking gross. Alright, um... 
Let's not play with rats anymore. In fact, let's let's not do that. <laughs> what happens? Cell not secure. Please close it and try it again. Can you put whatever you want in here? Oh. Oh no, buddy, you're staying in there. I'm freaked out by you. Wait, maybe we need this thing. Do we need you? Um, it's been uncalibrated. Ah! Uh oh, now you broke it. Oh shit, Simon. Oh look. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like the one over here, doesn't it? Oh. We're gonna fix it with science! Yes! Structure gel fixes everything! Did it fix it? Oh my god, it put weird things on it. Rose, put it back in there. Will it fix it? Yep. Oh yeah. Where is he gonna put this? It's huge. His endless pockets. All right, we've got one item now. So we still need a cortex chip. Um, and we, which technically, don't we already have in our own head? I don't know. And we need a battery. That was fun. I miss Toby. Toby and I went through one of these decontamination things before. Is that guy gonna jump at me again? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that was bright. There he is. This is the guy trying to talk to me. Alright, I do not think we've ever gone into the lab. That's where the fishies are. Cool. Um... Um, does this work? Oh, Ro Ross, this is the dude that was in the glass cage. Um, Paula Lansky writes, confirmed a correlation between the overloaded systems and the corpse of Dr. Ross. I was able to shield off the corpse inside the glass jar for a couple of seconds and witnessed a massive drop in the readings. If we really have to keep Ross inside Omicron, I suggest finding a way to erect a permanent barrier to avoid severe system malfunctions. Lisa Cameron. Wow is definitely repairing Ross's corpse. <laughs> it's the most insane thing I have ever encountered. Somehow, the Wow, primarily relegated to the structure gel inside the walls, is bombarding the corpse with every system it can access. The glass jar is surrounded by an unhealthy amount of electromagnetism and ma magnetism and radiation, which seems to be instructing gel already suck stuck inside Ross's body. Not sure what the WoW expects to happen when it's restored, but at least all the crazy should stop when the body hits 100%. Ross is, um, maybe Ross is the creature we keep seeing in the cage? Have you washed your hands? <laughs> it shows you how. Wet your hands with soap, scrub for 30 seconds, and rinse for 10. Uh-oh, are we gonna look at ourselves again? This is a lot more clear than that other mirror. Checked ourselves out. Maybe that's there if, as the player, maybe if the player didn't see the other mirror. I don't know. Uh oh. I really want to poke 
this one, the last one I poked, it like broke everything around it. Look at this squid, a common squid, a, a lol ago, <laughs> a lol, a lol vulgaris. Oh, maybe he's a vampire squid. <laughs> he's got a brain, a little one, a radula, an eye, a siphon, arms, and tentacles, an ink sack, gills, an ovary, this one's a girl, and, and a stomach and a liver, a very large liver. And this is where they kept some rats. And this is where they studied Atlantic cod. Cold story. All sorts of fish in here. Or, looks like shrimp. In roughies. More shrimp, more uh, fish. That's all that's in here. <coughs> Atlantic sea nettle. They are these like super poisonous gonads. <laughs> A gut cavity with tentacles and oral arms. Weird. Oral arms. Its arms is part of its mouth. Oh, another tea. Yeah, it's not you really want to get comfortable with. <laughs> That's funny. That's really funny, Julia. What's going on? The pipe that transparent. What do you want, Roy? We're friends, right? Yes. Do you think Alpha is real? Oh, what makes you. Why would you ask that? Ross is trying to tell me something. About Side Alpha. He wants me to go down to the abyss and find him. <laughs> Crazy, right? You've been down there. I just thought you could talk some sense into me. Ronnie. I'm not at liberty to... I can't talk about that. Uh oh. Can we take this one out? How do we use this one? Look, it looks like we should be able to use this tape. Can we take the other one out? Hmm. Well, I'm gonna poke this thing and see what it breaks. <laughs> pokey pokey. <laughs> The lab is no longer functioning. Good job. Am I going to freak me out again? Alright, so for next video, we're going to continue upstairs. Where did we see... Um, it's like a stairwell I wanted to go up. Here's the clean room. Maybe it was this. Oh, East Stairwell. Now this goes downstairs. Where did I see the... I thought there was like, um, a way upstairs. Oh, right here. Let's just go up and then I'll save it. Alright, I'm gonna save it right here before we go through this. This does not look safe. So, so far, I'm gonna save and exit. So far we found... The structure gel, that's it. We still have to find a battery and it protects you. We are still in sight, Omicron. Cool. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, leave a like, subscribe for more, write a comment. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.